Take a look at the people around you. What do the majority of them all have in common? That's right, they're all on their phones. Perhaps they are communicating with a friend or a loved one. Maybe they are checking this week's weather or using a calculator to help them figure out their homework. Or maybe they are just scrolling through a series of posts on various social media sites. There's no question about it. They make our lives so much easier. But the real question is, are you content without it? We spend 37 and a half minutes each day just picking up our phone. On average, we spend 3 hours and 45 minutes each day on our phones. And it is said that 93% of adolescents say that they use their phone to avoid boredom. Obviously, we use our phones at an alarming rate, and it seems to be that oftentimes the reason we use them is not a good one. So I have decided to take a 30-day break of social media to see how it has been affecting me. I first off want to say that we all as individuals have different reasons for being time on our phone and spending time on our phones. But for me, it comes down to three main problems. One, I use my phone to avoid boredom. Two, my phone causes me to become less productive. And three, I can find myself feeling discontent because of my phone. So after deleting all the social media apps on my phone, I still found myself spending way too much time on apps like Netflix and YouTube. So I decided to delete them too after the first day. Through the second day of limited distractions on my phone, I still found myself countless times pulling out my phone, opening it up, and scrolling through the pages on my phone. Then after realizing that all my go-to apps were gone, I would close my phone, and this cycle would repeat throughout the day. And listen, I'm not going to sit here and lie. It was hard. It was really hard. Actually, when I got home from school, all I wanted to do was lay down on my bed and scroll. And, and I logged on to the web browser, like the online web browser of Instagram, and got a quick scroll in. And like, how pathetic is that? I, I couldn't go one full day with having to go see what was going on outside of my own world and what everyone else was doing. After that mess up, I was determined not to let myself stumble again, but the temptation was still present, so I decided to put up even more precautionary measures to avoid folding in. Instead of going everywhere with my phone, I would leave it at home. My mom can contest to that. Many times I ran out to the dollar store and went on runs without my phone. As time went on, things did get easier. I found myself checking less and becoming less concerned for what might my friends be doing. In a way, this felt so good, but I do not think that it made me happier, just in a way it made me feel freer. I began to become more productive in such ways as getting my homework done sooner, answering emails more efficiently, and brainstorming new video ideas. I also found that there was so much more time on my hands. With that time, I decided to spend it outside observing the creation around me. I began, began kayaking, started hiking more. I even tried camping out one night, but that did not end well. That's a story for another time. I began to realize how small I truly am, how the world does not revolve around me, and quite frankly, the likes, shares, and views do not mean a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. Overall, my contentment with myself and the people around me went up. I was finally, after 18 years, beginning to invest my time wisely. So you might ask, what are these benefits? Well, for example, we are always so focused on multitasking in today's society. Social media is a big promoter of that. I urge you to take notice how often while you are doing homework, watching a movie, or having a conversation, you are also scrolling through your social media feed. Put the phone down and devote your full attention to your homework or that conversation. Maybe try just enjoying the movie. Sometimes two things at once is not as good as one thing at a time. There's so many benefits for me when I got off of it. For, so today, for example, my friends were busy, I didn't have work, I didn't have school, I, I didn't really have anything to do today. And I think if social media was downloaded on my phone, I probably would have stayed home and not really done much and spent a lot of time on my phone, but instead I didn't have that. So I kind of, I forced myself to go out and I went on a hike by myself. And with that, I was able to see things, uh, I got to experience outside, I got to experience nature around me.
That's usually just a little creek. Crazy. I think that social media keeps us from doing things that are beneficial to us and instead keeps us inside and doing things that really have little to no benefit at all. I'd say time is an investment. I think a lot of people would agree with that. And uh, how you spend your time, you wanna make good investments with that time. And, and social media and being on your phone is a bad investment. It's, uh, it's you going on social media is an exchange of, of your present moments, your present, the present moments that you can capitalize on and you're exchanging it for endless scrolling of someone's past moments and why do you want to spend your time scrolling through someone's past when you can be making your present make, making memories for yourself and I just thought that was quite profound I think that in conclusion most of us can say if we take a bird's eye view of our life and how we spend our time we can admit that we were wasting most of it a professor at California State University said this now we social media addicts have the ability to control our addiction, but we do not have the motivation to control our addiction because we do not see the consequences to be that severe. Please know the consequences of social media can be severe. Social media can radically change your life if you choose to let it. Don't choose to waste your time. Choose to invest it. Hey guys, I just want to thank you for sticking around this late in the video. Uh, leave a like if you appreciate the video, if you liked it. Please leave a comment if you have any other ideas for me, like challenges like this. Um, I just want to say this book, I got a lot of information, a lot of stuff I said from this book by Tony Reiki. It was very nice. It's a good read, I would recommend it. I'll leave the link in the description below for this book. Also, shout out to Matt Diavello. He's a uh, the top one right he made a video about taking 30 days off social media and inspired me to do it so go check out his video check out his channel will be linked somewhere up here down there um thanks for watching to the next time thanks guys